वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सैम्पल एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट फॉर एमेजॉन ओके सो दिस नॉर्मली हैपन्स इन द राउंड टू एंड आफ्टर दिस इफ यू क्लियर दिस राउंड देन यू आर सिलेक्टेड टू गो फर्दर एंड दोज फर्दर राउंड विल बी ऑफ इंटरव्यूज ओके सो दीज आर दोज फ्यू थिंग्स विच यू नीड टू क्लियर टू गेट अ जॉब एट एमेजॉन ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन which of the following fraction is the largest so in this case we have four different fractions and all of them have very different denominators so here i would suggest that instead of you know like dividing and finding the answers in decimal what you should do is take lcm of all of the denominators so basically and or rather you make all the denominators same if you want all the denominators to be same you, all you have to do is you just have to take the lcm so what you do is lcm of 6 20 3 and 12 so we have over here is 3s are 2s are 20 1s are and 4s are then we have 2 then 1s are 10s are 1s are and 2s are then we have 2 then 1s are 5s are 1s are and 1s are then we have 5 okay so 3 into 2 is 6 6 into 5 is uh 30, 13 to 2 is 60. So you will multiply here by 10. So here also gets multiplied by 10. Multiply by 3. This multiplies by 3. Multiply by 20. Multiply by 20. Multiply by 5. Multiply by 5. So here now the fraction changes to 5, 50 upon 60. Then the next one is, or rather, let me write it properly, 5, 50 upon 60. Next one is fifty one upon sixty. Then the next one is forty upon sixty. Then the next one is fifty five upon sixty. So the number which is the highest in your numerator will be your largest fraction. Why so? Because the denominators are same. So the number with the highest fraction will now become your largest. Uh, highest numerator will become your largest fraction. Okay. Similarly, if you wanted to find the smallest, the number which was the smallest in your numerator will become the smallest fraction. Okay, so the next one, students, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, students, if you want me to do many such aptitude questions which are asking multi multinational companies, please let me know so in the comment section by typing a yes. or you can also let me know the company whose aptitude test you want me to uh, further solve okay so the next question is if p is equals to x percent of y and q is equals to y percent of x then which of the following is true so please understand this can be directly said as p is equals to x upon 100 into y so xy q is equals to y upon 100 into x so which is yx so this is basically can i say this is nothing but same both of these values are same so then i can directly say that p is equals to q so option a is my correct option <clears throat> students don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answer you can mention in the comment section so um, let's begin with the next one find the next alphabet in a d i and p and the last one is something which you need to find okay so students please understand there is some concept of <coughs> sorry there is a concept of alpha numeric series which are asked in most of these entrances okay i have made a very specific dedicated video of those and the link of that will be available on top or somewhere in the description please go ahead and check that out but so for this one here what you do is see when you have something like this we always have to understand whenever you have alphabets they are associated by numbers also so in alphabet so in numerical uh, method we can say a is nothing but my first number similarly z will be my what 26th number so d will be what fourth number i will be ninth and p is my uh, 16th number now students understand how do i know this see please understand there are few alphabets you need to remember such as a e uh, then j then o all of these numbers if you remember all of these alphabets whose numbers if you remember then it becomes very very easy now if you look over here this is what 1 square this is 2 square this is 3 square this is 4 square so here what you should have is 
5 square which will be 25 and 26 is a Z letter so 25 will be C uh, sorry Y so option C is my correct answer okay so now very soon let's solve few more questions which are a bit different than what we have solved till now so the question is if selling price is doubled the profit triples okay find the profit percentage so please understand what is profit percentage it's nothing but what selling price minus cost price upon cost price in 200 and they are saying that if selling price is double so 2 sp minus cost price will obviously remain the same that time this becomes what three times profit so if i want to understand this further what we should do over here is let's very quickly substitute profit percentage in this so we have 3 into instead of profit we write down SP minus CP upon CP sorry into 100 is equal to 2 SP minus CP upon CP into 100 so the hundreds are cancelling denominators are same so they are also cancelling so we can now say 3 SP minus 3 CP is equal to 2 SP minus CP correct so what you can say over here is uh, let's shift it on this side so we can say uh, 3 SP minus 2 SP is equal to minus CP plus 3 CP okay so this will now become SP is equal to 2 times CP so substitute that in your original formula of profit percentage so we have 2 CP instead of SP we write 2 CP minus minus CP upon CP into 100 2 CP minus CP is nothing but CP upon CP into 100 this will cancel so your entire profit percentage is what 100 percent so option d is your correct option so now very quickly coming to your diy so the question over here is find okay where i'll write i'll write down your diy find the largest fraction between 2 upon 3 4 upon 5 8 upon 9 and let's say 7 upon 10 so do let me know your answers in the comment section that's it for today i'll very soon see you in the next video